Today's podcast is brought, brought to you by the color yellow. Good, good morning, good morning Ida, Ida Burns. Burns. I love it. Well, it's a terrific Tuesday here at Ida Burns, and you know, are we ready to have some energy today? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We're going to work on I'm that. I'm going to work on that. I need to have a sing because I'm going to do it every morning. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have to learn what I need to say. <laughs> Y'all may have to help me. Well, I'll tell you what. I want to say a big shout out to the breakfast folks this morning. We did a lot better this morning, but we still have room to grow. When we get that that focus time, 7.55, we just need to really watch. And when it becomes 7.55, you all know what you're supposed to do. One of the things I need to talk about, I'm going to get this out of the way because it's kind of it's kind of a negative part. Um, I'm hearing that our first graders, could be second graders, are having some problems with the bathrooms. Mm -hmm. And I just want to remind everybody that there are cameras in the hallway, no matter where you are, if you're on first grade or second grade hallway, if you're on third or fourth grade hallway, or if you're on kindergarten hallway, there are cameras. In the cafeteria. In the cafeteria yesterday. Camera yesterday for a situation that came up and we pulled up the cameras to see what actually happened and this was something that happened on Friday Mm -hmm. so we can go back it records those videos every second of every day we can look right now in the hallways or in in any room in any uh, area of our school and see what's going on but you know your purpose to go to the restroom is to take care of your business and and I'm hearing that teachers are having to leave their classrooms to go down to see what all the commotion is in the the restrooms. Um, I just want that to stop and I'm hoping that I don't walk through or Miss Virgin walks through or we pull up the video and see somebody because you know we can we can see when you come out of that bathroom we can hear that noise and we can see who it is that's coming out of the restroom. And and I just want to, you know, everything that we do at school has a job. At breakfast, we say, what is your job at breakfast? And that's to eat. Um, during the school day, Nate, what is, your, what is your job while you're here at school in class? You have to learn and work hard. Sure, you have to learn. You're here to get an education. When you have to go to the bathroom, it's your job to go to the bathroom. Now, I understand first grade is used to having bathrooms in their kindergarten class, and this is the first time that they've gotten to, to go down the hall and go to the bathroom by themselves. But you know what? You have to be just as responsible and in, in, in probably more so than any other time that, that you can get from your class to the bathroom and take care of your business and do the right thing. And I don't think Miss Thacker and I should have to tell a first no. grader what's the right way to go to the bathroom. It is not a playground. It is not recess. It is not time to play, to act silly, to make someone laugh, and certainly not time to make a mess. You know, Miss Shelley and Mr. Brandon and Mr. KJ work very, very hard, but their job is to keep our school in neat order. It's not to clean up a mess that you've made because you weren't doing the right thing. And, and that really hurts my heart to think that we are, are making choices in the bathroom that are, are not clean for our school and are, are misbehaving. Well, that's very sad because would you, do, what, would you act like that in the bathroom at your home? Uh, that's something. This is the, this is your house, and we all have to work together to make this a nice place to come to school. We want it to be a nice, clean place. It's our responsibility if we make a mess, wherever it might be. If it's at breakfast and you've got trash all over the place, you pick up your mess. Same thing at lunch. Same thing in your classroom. If you're in your classroom and you make a big mess at your desk, it's your responsibility. Because you remember, you're the driver of your bus. Mm-hmm. We're not going to say that every morning, but you, we know that we're, our expectations are that you are driving the bus. It's your responsibility to just do the right thing. And speaking of do the right thing, oh, we I have Mr. Guest. Nate Cross here this morning. I am delighted. He's gotten a positive office referral from Miss Jackson. So we have decided we are going to be adding his ticket to the uh, Energy Bus fuel bucket um, because he has obviously done a, a fabulous thing. I want to read what Miss Jackson says. 
Um, the character traits that he has shown is attitude and compassion. She said, if there was ever a good friend award, Nate would win it. During the last two weeks, he has comforted a classmate, helped another one with a hard math problem, and even offered to play with a classmate who didn't have someone to play with at oh recess. Oh, my goodness. Nate continues to impress me. Nate, wow. you have no idea how much that makes us happy to know that you are that role model of what strong character looks like. This is what strong I mean, character looks put, like. Put a big sign on his back and said, watch this guy. Yeah. Because he's got it going. Absolutely. I am so proud. I'm going to get to call his mama here in just a minute. I bet I'm going to make her very happy. Nate, I'm going to let you take your ticket. Can I hear a yes, 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 yes for Mr. Nate. He's putting it All in the right. bucket. We're going to get to draw some names for, for the next broadcast on Monday. Well, Miss Bertram, I've got a couple of newspaper articles that I wanted to share. On um, last Monday, we had, uh, you may already know this, was in the paper, in the school zone. Ah. We had, here, you hold it. Okay. We had uh, our first grade students that were doing the Mending Heart activity. There was an article Heart in the, Club. Mm -hmm. the paper about them. And then just, just yesterday, I went home and I got my paper and I read about Ida Burns again twice. Yay! There was again the first grade, the first grade classroom when they were eating the enormous watermelon. Yes. And they were eating watermelon. Look at our babies. Yeah. And then, I, and then I turned over to the next page, and I've got. I got, Ida Burns again. Ida Burns again. Oh, let me tell you what. When I went and looked in the mirror, I had this big old smile on my face thinking I am one proud principal because I love to open up the paper and see my school with all of the learning that's going on. And and this was this is that I can that we had on the broadcast last week in Miss Miller's uh, class. Was that this last week or was yeah. it this week? It was last week. We went to Miss Miller's class for the I Can Project. I had been in the Mending Heart Club with first grade and that's what this article is about. Um, they were they had to demonstrate where they had shown kindness to someone yes. and then they got their badge which was a band-aid over their heart. So those are our very nice articles about our yeah. school and then the watermelon. They're wow. learning to make juicy sentences. Isn't and that fun it's learning very that's impressive. going on I love here that. at Ida Burns? And that just makes me so proud. Well, yesterday, one of the things I forgot to tell you all is that teachers, I put a video in the Google Classroom about the the kid, kid president. president. And I forgot to say that uh, when I put it on there on Sunday, it kept spinning. So I didn't really know whether it would work. But he has a pep talk that he might like to give to everybody. So if you get time this week, you ought to go in there and watch it. He's very inspiring, and it really helped me to feel a little peppy, put a little pep in my step. So if nothing else, is there I'm gonna grab else? these tickets. I just want you to know I'm gonna probably have them at bus duty this afternoon and breakfast duty in the morning. I can't wait to fill up our jar because we want to be bragging on some I can't drivers wait. that have some positive vision for really? our school. Remember this morning, you have that choice. You make a good good day or a bad day. And I know I've got that vision that everybody's going to choose to have a good day. Be like Nate. Mm -hmm. Have a good day.